All right, so the first thing that you're going to do in game, um, you're going to want to make sure if you're using LVI that you have your bars displayed, which I showed you how to do in the previous video. But um, you're going to want to make sure you have these displayed just for, you know, where you're going to put them. If you want them up here, you don't really have to worry about it, or you want them maybe around your character, whatever you like. I had mine down here. Um, because this is where I'm primarily looking. So I had everything that I needed to see right next to that. Um, so once you have all this up, you're going to go into WeGoros, which you can access by typing slash WA. Uh, and this is WeGoros. I'm not going to go into everything about WeGoros. There's plenty of videos on YouTube explaining everything about WeGoros. Um, so for the basics of this video, and just to keep it short because it's going to be long, we're just going to get started with importing uh, one of the uh, links that I will provide you with. So you're going to go to New, and then you're going to go to Import, and then you're going to go to uh, the paste bin and copy and paste the whole code with no spaces at the end or nothing crazy, and paste it there. And then you're going to click done and it will, you'll see it is imported down here. I'm going to do this for healing rain. So you click import and it shows up here. Uh, it may or may not show up later in your list. I just don't have anything loaded on this character anymore. So luckily mine's going to be right at the top. But if you have other weak or is loaded, you may have to search for it. Um, so basically you have your group and then little subsections of your group. Now, right now, this weak aura is behind my raid frames, and I definitely want to move that. So you're going to make sure that you have the group, the whole group selected, and just click it in the middle and move it wherever you see fit. Uh, I would just suggest moving it wherever so that you can work on it, and then, oh, see, it's bugging out again, um, so that you can work on it and then moving it after the fact. So this situation here, just to explain super fast, I just up updated week auras and for some reason every time that I've tried to make this video it's bugged out like this and I'm really not sure why so I apologize if this seems confusing normally this box would be around the week aura like it was to begin with and for whatever reason it is doing this so if this causes confusion I, I genuinely apologize but hopefully it doesn't so you can see here that you have healing rain up it's colored and you have healing rain down which is desaturated uh, and then you also have the timer for healing rain which i have the text really small um but you, if you wanted to adjust that you could do that here and make it larger or smaller i'm going to keep it small because the big icon is around it but just so you could see it behind that little block there um, so once you have this in there, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your interface and I'll move this out of the way so that we can work. Uh, and you're going to go to add ons and then you're going to go to mask. Once you're in mask, you're going to load it and go to weak auras, uh, because that's what we want to put a skin on, right? So you open it up. Um, hopefully you're not like me and you don't live in like an ocean of weak auras. But if you do, it's okay. Just make sure that these here, when you create a new one, make sure everything is relabeled to the new spell, which I'll, I'll get into shortly. Um, but because you're going to have to find it in this list of madness. So it's I'll, kind of, I think it's alphabetical. Yeah, it's, it's numeric and then alphabetical. So it was pretty easy for me to find healing rain up, which is this, and healing rain down, which is this. So we're going to select up so that we see that first. Um, and what you have here is a drop down menu of the different skins, whichever you chose the extension, they will show up here. And I believe that the one that I was in, I'll show you a couple different ones just so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Circle. I believe this was the one that I was using before. 
circle light, circle pro, rounded. So these are, you know, they're pretty cool. Um, these are what the HUD icons are. They look really neat. Um, so we'll go back to circle just to keep it simple. Um, and so you have these gloss settings right now. There's no gloss on it. So it's really flat and you can leave it that way. I think it looks pretty good with this skin like this, but you, you could change, um, the color of it. Say you wanted a hot pink gloss, you would change this opacity and it would be hot pink and glossy. Um, but I'm going to keep it at white and maybe, you know, give it a little bit of gloss. Maybe a little more than that. You know, just so it looks like a, a kind of almost crisp and, and little three-dimensional. Um, and this is, again, I'm going to say it a thousand times, it's something that you just have to play with. You have to play with what you like. Uh, and so I'm going to do the same thing for Healing Rain Down. Because you want them to be the same. Like, if I, I have that selected so it's showing up, but if I look at Healing Rain Down, it's still a weird square. So we're going to go to Healing Rain Down, drop down menu, choose circle, and uh, we'll go ahead and, and change our gloss on that too. This one was 55, so we'll change this to 55 as well. You just want them to match. If you don't want them to match, they don't have to match, but I want them to match. So um, I've never actually messed with the backdrop texture, and I'm not going to start today because that could just potentially get confusing. This section here is where you change the color of this outside ring here, your actual skin on the icon. Um, so now it's gray, but I would like it to be to match my UI a little bit better. So I'm going to go blue and make it a little bit darker, maybe here. And I like this color. I think it's going to look good. So I'm going to copy it so that I can use it on the other one as well. And you hit OK. So yeah, that's a pretty good color. That matches. Um, I like the fade on it. It's nice. So we're going to go to Healing Rain Down and do the same thing, except this time we can just hit Paste, and it'll paste that the same exact color from the previous one. You hit OK. So now they're the same, but one's desaturated and one isn't. So you can play with all of these skins um, and take plenty of time to do so. I've never personally messed with a lot of these settings because that looks peachy to me. Um, so once you're done playing with all the settings and you find something that you like, you just hit OK. And now you're going to want to move it, you know, to where it's in a good spot on your screen and maybe resize it. So to do that, um, to move it, like I said before, even though this is supposed to line up, um, you're going to click in the center of the movement, movement square. And let's say that I want it right here. And I want it to be a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So when you do that, you have to change each one specifically. If you try to change the group, you see the display settings, uh, you can't change the whole group at a time, unfortunately. But if you go to each one, you can see that it's like the little edges are highlighted. So you can just drag them to whatever size you want. Um, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take it from 74 to 62. And you want to make sure that you do that on both edges so that it's kind of a square so that you keep your circle shape. But if you wanted it to be, you know, like that or whatever, that's fine too. Um, so I'm going to do 62, 62. And again, you have to do it with both of them because they're separate. So 62, 62, 62, please. Thank you. Um, and then, like I showed you before, you can change, you want to show these so that you can see how big your timer is in there. Uh, you can change the size of the timer, uh, and you can also change the position of it, um, inside your little square here. But in the, in a previous recording, I tried to do that and it bugged out, so I'm not going to do that, but 
you could click on it just like you can all of them, you know, and move them around like if you you know if you wanted. So uh you can feel free to move that wherever you want. If you want it up in this corner, that's fine. Uh and so on and so forth. So we'll get to this charge here. Uh because a lot of spells, you know, they have charges to them. So you're gonna go to your whole group and there should be somewhere in here a text setting if I can find it. I apologize. It might actually yeah, I think it's in here. Yeah, so the text settings. Um you can change where this charge is and the size of it, the font of it, uh and all these things. So from what I remember, oh, let me, am I in the right one? Sound up. Whatever. Um, so we'll do down since that's showing for whatever reason. So this will, see, it'll move the position of it, uh, but it moves differently depending on the size of it. So if I make this a little bit bigger, it will appear more centered even though it's not. So this is another one of those settings that you just really have to tweak and play with. Um, I had mine on the last video uh, where it was up here in this corner. And I think that the only way that I achieved that I think I had it, I think it was because I had the icons so small that they were like off of where they normally would be at a regular size. I'm not really 100% sure how I achieved that. It's, I guarantee you it's something that I literally just played with until I got it right. And I'm sorry if that's not the answer that you want to hear, but that's all I have for now because I haven't used these in so long. Um, so that's really it. Uh, and it's what I did to make all of my weak auras because I can't, I don't have them anymore. I don't want to re remake them. I apologize. Um, but I, I can show you how I made all of them. So to do that, I just, uh, basically exported this to a string, uh, and I copied it, right? Done. And then I imported it again. So you import again. So now you have a second one of these, right? But it's what I did is I went to trigger and you can see that there's a spell in here, healing rain. So I want to turn that into uh, another spell so that I have another week for it. So all you have to do is type in the name of the spell and hit OK, and it'll find it and change it. And the cool thing about that is, because it's not a display setting, it changed it for the whole group. So you don't have to go back in and do anything crazy. So all you have to do after this is right click and rename to Riptide. And again, it's really important to change these two to, I mean, it may not seem like, oh, who cares what those names are. But when you go to mask it, if you don't change this, you, you're going to have a bad time. So just take the time to change it to, you know, rip tied up just so you know what you're masking, um, rip tied down and the timer is not really that important, but we'll change it anyways to rip tied timer. And that's how you make another one. And then you go through the same process that you went with this one. Um, and resizing and moving around and eventually you have these for all of your spells that you need to see the cooldowns for and you can hide your bars uh, and really really customize your UI to be exactly how you want it. Um, that's really all there is to that process. If I have left anything out or you have any more questions, uh, feel free to comment or even message me. Um, and I will try to help people with this as much as I can. But again, I haven't done these in a while. Uh, I use HUDs now, which I will show an example of uh, right after this. 
So thank you for watching again. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry that it was long and I'm sorry that Weekoras for some reason is doing this weird thing here, but uh, that's out of my control. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. See ya. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention is uh, getting them to load, right, when you're not in combat. So we'll close that out. Uh, we'll cast a spell. And sometimes you'll you'll close weak auras, and, um, and your spells won't be here. And you're like, what, what the heck is going on? Their spells were there. Why aren't mine there? So that is actually, I don't know why it happens. It just happens sometimes. And all you have to do is go to load, and... There's all these little um, parameters, I guess, or specifications about when it loads exactly. And if you just want it to be loaded all the time, um, you don't even have to have that clicked. If you just don't click anything. Um, and you just make sure that it's set, especially if you don't want it to load on all of your characters, just one character. You make sure that it's set to player class, shaman, and your talent specialization restoration. And if it's a specific talent, like uh, say I'm taking, I don't know, a cloud burst totem or echo of the elements, uh, that doesn't really work. But say you have, you know, uh, say you took echo of the elements and but you have a cloud burst week or for when you use cloud burst in whatever raid situation. Um, but you don't want cloud burst totem to show when you don't have it selected, when it's not even available to use. So you would click talent selected and then you'd pick it out of the list, right? So now this week or will only load when I have the talent for cloud burst selected, but obviously this is for healing, uh, <laughs> The, the, the healing pool so I'm not gonna choose that because I want that to load all of the time uh, you can make them if you don't want them there all the time you can click to just load in combat and they'll only show up when you enter combat and that's a popular choice too but I wanted to really quick go over that because that was something that I ran into when I first started messing with weak auras was uh, where the heck was the weak aura after I did all this work to it it's because certain things in these settings were off. Uh, so yeah, there's that.